XGF who slept with my brother a day before our wedding reaches out to me 12 years later a week before my wedding. But this time I need revenge. I, 38M, am getting married to my beautiful girlfriend, 35F, of 4 years and less than a week. This is my second engagement. 12 years ago, I almost got married to my ex-girlfriend, 38F. She was my high school sweetheart and we'd been together for almost 10 years so naturally and we'd even lived together for 5 years. So naturally, I was ready to get married, and from the looks of it, so was she. My family loved my ex as well so they were thrilled when I announced the news of our engagement. But it didn't happen because just one day before the wedding, my ex ended up sleeping with my brother, 34M. My ex had told me to spend the night before the wedding at a hotel while she stayed home since she believed that we needed to stay separately to avoid bad luck and I did what she asked of me. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I'd forgotten my shoes back home and had to go back for them a few hours after I'd reached the hotel. When I went back home, I was surprised to see that the lights were out in the living room since my ex hated turning out the lights while leaving a room and couldn't believe that she'd remembered. I went in and headed straight to the bedroom since that's where I'd kept the shoebox because that's how special it was to me. But when I opened the door to my room, I was greeted with the worst thing I'd ever seen. My ex was lying in bed with my own little brother and was so caught up in their act that they barely even noticed that I'd entered the room. Only after a few seconds did they notice me but I'd literally frozen up and had no idea how to react. My world came crashing down around me and as soon as I realized what I'd just witnessed, I made a run for it while my ex called after me. I drove back to the hotel, hyperventilating and panicking and straight up refusing to believe what I'd seen. I was supposed to get married the next day so this was just insane. It took me a while to compose myself once I got to my room and when I finally managed to calm down, I ended up sobbing for at least an hour. Thankfully, I hadn't told my ex which hotel I was in so she couldn't get to me and could only text me which is what she did. She sent me a bunch of apology texts and tried to convince me that this was just a one-time thing but I highly doubted that. She also said that the wedding was freaking her out so she needed to blow off some steam and my brother had always been there for her so she didn't know whom to turn to. I could hardly believe that she was even trying to explain herself after what I'd seen and blocked her immediately. I also blocked my brother since I wasn't interested in any of their bullcrap apologies. It took me a while but I managed to pull myself together and cancelled all the arrangements for the wedding first and foremost because no matter how much money I lost, I was going to get out of this mess. My ex had just wasted 10 years of my life so I didn't mind wasting a few thousand dollars as long as it meant that I wouldn't have to be with her anymore. The next thing that I did was I called my parents up and told them what had happened. They were really confused about whether they should be consoling me or cutting my brother off so I gave them some time to think about it. By then, it was pretty late in the evening so I ordered myself some dinner and then cried myself to sleep. After that day, I only ever saw my ex twice. Once when she came back home to pack up all her things and leave and the next a couple of years later, at a mutual friend's party where she tried to talk to me but I left as soon as I spotted her coming my way. My brother and I also haven't spoken since then because my parents have cut him off for what he did to me. Last I heard, he was working in Europe and hasn't come back here for 3 years now. Anyway, that was all in the past and I've managed to move on from that horrible episode. I'm in a better place now and definitely with a better woman whom I trust wholeheartedly. It was all going well until a few days back, exactly one week before my wedding, my ex reached out to me. I don't know how she found out about me or my wedding but she contacted me from a new Facebook account since I'd blocked her original account first and sent me a ton of messages about how devastated she was to hear that I was getting married again. It was strange to me that she said again because even though we almost did get married, we never really were married. But anyway, it felt like a total deja vu, the way she was pleading with me to take her back in spite of what she'd done and how I was the only man she'd ever loved. It really got to me and I even told my fiancé about it immediately. Part of me was so perturbed by this that I wanted to give her a piece of my mind for bothering me before my wedding but another, more unforgiving part of me really wanted revenge. I knew that I'd done the right thing all those years back and had dealt with the situation like an adult but this time, I wanted to mess her up so bad that she wouldn't even think of ever getting back in touch with me again. When I told my fiancé what I was feeling, she was totally on board with it as well because even though she'd been cheated on in the past and while it wasn't a 10-year relationship, it still hurt so she knew how I felt. So this time, instead of just letting it go, we came up with a plan to get revenge and make sure that my ex went through the same heartache that she put me through. This is why a couple of hours after I received her text, I decided to text her back saying that I was finally ready to talk to her. She told me that she was ready to come to my place right that second but I told her to get a room in a nearby hotel and I'd meet her there the next day so that my fiancé wouldn't feel suspicious. Of course, my fiancé was right beside me while I was talking to her. She agreed to all of it and so, the next day, I went to her hotel at the time we'd agreed upon. She seemed overjoyed to see me and was actually crying happy tears but she'd be crying real tears in a couple of minutes. She sat me down and started explaining how she'd been so sorry about what had happened for these past 12 years and wanted to make it up to me but didn't know how to get through to me until she heard from a friend that I was getting married again and she just knew that she had to text me one last time or else she'd lose me forever. 
I listened to her intently and even pretended to be interested and held her hands while she spoke. Meanwhile, I was just waiting for my fiancé to show up. Almost 20 minutes later, there was a knock on the door and I rushed to open it. My fiancé entered, followed by all our groomsmen and bridesmaids, wearing masks of my brother's face. They'd carried a cake in as well and even that had my brother's face smiling up at us. My ex was horrified and couldn't even come up with words to say anything. We yelled surprise. While she looked on with a shocked expression on her face because I'm sure nobody would have ever seen this coming. We'd managed to convince the hotel staff that we were surprising her and it was relatively easy since she'd already informed them to let in any guest who wanted to visit her, which she'd meant just for me but I had other plans. After she was able to process what was happening, she started sobbing and mumbling some incoherent gibberish while crying but I wasn't gonna let her off the hook that easily. She'd had the audacity to message me just a week before my wedding even after cheating on me with my own brother a mere day before we were supposed to get married so now she'd have to face the consequences of her actions. I told her that this was what she deserved and that if she thought she ever had a chance with me after cheating on me then she was dead wrong. She had no business texting me after what she'd put me through and I was glad that she was hurt by what I'd done because she'd brought it upon herself. I was really cold and curt while saying all of this but she continued to sob and said that if I didn't want her back then I should have just ignored and blocked her instead of going out of my way to humiliate her this way. But I didn't feel sorry for her in the slightest. Not then and not now. I told her never to speak to me again and then left her crying by herself in the hotel room. Now, I'm supposed to get married in two days but some of my fiancé's friends want me to apologize to my ex since they think that the way I told her off that day was harsh and no matter what she'd done, she didn't deserve this. My groomsmen don't share this sentiment since they've known me since middle school and they're also well aware of how I had to battle depression and fight for my life in the years following my breakup with my ex because of what had happened. They also knew how much I loved her and what she'd meant to me so they didn't mind what I'd done. My fiancé's friends had probably been expecting some high school drama that they could gossip about later but this was too raw and real for them. My fiancé is on my side and doesn't think I should apologize but her friends are refusing to be part of the wedding if I don't do that. Now I'm really torn up because, on one hand, I don't want my fiancé to be upset on our wedding day. After all, she really values her friends but I also don't think I owe my ex any apology at all. She could have just stayed out of my life and this never would have happened but she just didn't want to see me happy. In fact, she's still trying to play the victim here and keeps sending me texts from spam accounts about how I broke her heart and that this will definitely come back to me someday. I don't particularly care for this brand of emotional manipulation, not for my ex and most certainly not for my fiancé's bridesmaids. Now, I know that she's never gonna tell me to apologize just for her sake but I sort of feel obliged too, at this point and that's why I'm here. I'm running out of time and I need to decide what I'm gonna do right now. Ida for humiliating my cheating ex after she tried to get back with me just a week before my wedding? Update 1, so the response on this has been pretty diverse, to say the least. There's just one day to go until the wedding and I've decided to speak to my fiancé before I actually do anything, like most people had suggested. I talked to her about how I'd been feeling and as soon as I told her, she said that I absolutely didn't have to apologize to my ex just because her bridesmaids thought so, and if that offended them then they could skip her wedding. She told me that her bridesmaids had no idea what had happened and most of them thought that I'd overreacted even when she explained that my ex and I had been together for a decade and had cheated on me with my brother, things that are incomprehensibly cruel and don't deserve to be forgiven. But they weren't convinced and still believed that I was being unreasonable and owed her an apology so she gave up trying to explain my side of things to them and even told them that they didn't have to attend our wedding if they didn't feel like it. She hasn't spoken to her friends in one whole day and it seems really unlikely that they'll be attending. One of them even paid her back for the cost of the bridesmaid dress that she'd bought them all and she thinks that most of them are gonna skip. She's putting up a strong front for my sake but I know she's hurting since these women have been her friends since high school. My fiancé says she doesn't care but I know she does, deep down. So I've decided to talk to her friends and try to convince them myself. As for my ex, well, she's still being a total pain. A few hours ago, she managed to call me and then wasted 15 whole minutes trying to argue with me. She was really trying to convince me that I was still in love with her but was just too proud to admit it. And why was she saying that? Well, apparently, it's because I went to such lengths only to humiliate her so it obviously meant that I still did have feelings for her deep down. Yeah, she's right but those feelings are of hate and disgust. For whatever reason, she believes that I just wanted to see her one last time which is why I'd held her hands while she was talking but honestly, that was just to shock her even more. I literally laughed in her face while talking to her, hoping that she'd get the hint but she kept on blabbering about how we were soulmates and that I needed to call off the wedding before I made a huge mistake. Honestly, the only reason I'm even entertaining any of this is so that she doesn't end up doing anything stupid. I've been trying to get through to her parents so they can take her away but haven't been able to get through so I'm just waiting for them to respond and after that, I'll finally be able to get rid of her once and for all. Don't get me wrong, I still hate her but I also don't want her to hurt herself. I'm not that inhuman. Update 2, hey, guys. So, we're officially married now. It's been a couple of days since the ceremony and I still can't believe it. She's now my wife, I'm thrilled. 
But unfortunately, there's still sad news. Her friends ended up not showing up to the wedding despite my attempts to get them to come. I personally called each of them up to explain why I'd done what I'd done and why I didn't want to apologize but they didn't care much for it. Even when I asked them to attend just for my wife's sake, they weren't too hot on it and that just seemed bizarre to me because I'd surely attend a friend's wedding even if I didn't particularly like the person they were getting married to. I only learned the real reason yesterday when my wife finally confessed that she'd had a feeling her friends wouldn't attend, whether or not I apologized, simply because of the fact that she'd refused to do what they'd asked of her and had disagreed with them. They didn't like that one bit and believed that they were all one unit so they always needed to have a united front. These were her friends from high school and while she'd managed to somehow retain them throughout the years because they never really had anything important to disagree upon, this was the first time that their friendship was tested and she decided to choose me over her friends which they didn't like at all. She said that she was a little upset about it but was too embarrassed to admit it because it was all so juvenile. I didn't mind, though, since at least now I was sure that this wasn't really my fault and her friends were just self-centered. My wife even said that part of her was glad that they'd refused to attend because she could finally stop trying to fit in all the damn time and could live life on her own terms without constantly having to seek her friend's approval. So that was good for us, I suppose. Also, my ex's parents finally responded to me on the evening before my wedding. I explained to them hurriedly what their daughter had tried to do and how they needed to get to the hotel she'd been staying in and take her back with them for her own safety because she was being really psychotic and delusional and I didn't think it's okay for her to be on her own. As it turns out, they'd been on a hiking trip where they had no network but now that they were back, they promised me that they'd come to take her back as soon as they could and even thank me for informing them. I haven't heard from them since but I'm guessing they got her back home safely. Update 3, Hi, Guys. It's been a week since my wedding and unfortunately, it's been nothing but drama so far. As I'd mentioned, my girlfriend or her parents hadn't been in touch with me since the last time I spoke to her parents. I'd assumed that they'd take her home but apparently not. Two nights ago, there was a knock at our door, and since it was really late, my wife and I had no idea who it could be because we weren't expecting anyone. I made the mistake of opening the door before looking through the cameras and when I opened up, my ex pushed past me and walked in with her bags. My wife was sitting on the couch and literally sprang to her feet as soon as my ex walked in. I was about to ask her what she was doing in my house but before I could say anything, she told me that she was here to stay. She told me that her parents had come to bring her home a few days back but she'd refused to go since she knew that I would take her back soon. My wife and I were stunned and had no idea how to react because of how crazy all of this seemed. She told me that her parents had tried to force her to go back with them but she'd had a huge fight with them and ended up staying at the hotel. But now she was running out of money so she'd decided to move to my place instead. The reason was that if I spent enough time with her once again then I'd be reminded of the past and I'd fall back in love with her once more. I absolutely had no idea how to react simply because of how bizarre all of this was. My wife tried to speak to her but she ignored her presence altogether and continued speaking to me, demanding that I let her live with us. I told her, as gently as I could, that I was a married man now and she couldn't just show up here to live with me but she said that she didn't accept the wedding so in her eyes, I was still unmarried. I couldn't believe that this was happening but neither did I have the heart to kick her out because honestly, she seemed seriously unstable and it appeared to me that she needed help. So I sat her down and told her to wait in the living room while I went to the bedroom with my wife to discuss what we should do next. Thankfully, my wife was also quite sympathetic and knew that there was something seriously off about how my ex was behaving. She needed serious, professional help and we realized it. I tried to get through to her parents but they didn't accept my calls and texted back saying that they couldn't force her to come back anymore and she was clearly too psychotic to live with them so she was on her own now. They were clearly embarrassed of her and it was shameful how they were ready to just abandon their own daughter once they realized she was going through something. With no other option left, I decided to call my own parents who showed up within half an hour. My ex had fallen asleep on the couch in the meantime and that was really lucky since when my parents arrived, we decided to take her to a therapist as soon as possible because there was no telling what she was capable of doing at this point. My wife and I let her stay that night because honestly, neither of us could bring ourselves to hate her anymore because of how sad the whole situation was. Clearly, something had snapped in her mind and she needed to be treated for it at the earliest and the poor woman didn't even have her parents to count on anymore. My parents and I took her to the hospital the next day and she was still rambling about how she was glad that I was finally coming around and had even started planning our wedding. We took her to see a mental health professional but she refused, saying that she felt perfectly fine. Anyway, after a lot of struggle and complications, the doctors managed to calm her down with some meds and administered some drugs to her that I don't remember the names of. After that, she seemed significantly calmer, and one or two hours later, she finally said that she wanted to go home. I brought her home and we let her rest in a room while my family and I sat in the living room thinking about what to do next. My wife and I were really relieved when she said that she wanted to go home now and even helped her pack her stuff in the trunk of our car and we drove her home together. She was silent throughout and so were we because what could we even say in a situation like this? Once she got home, she apologized to both of us for the trouble that she'd caused and said that she was ashamed of everything that had happened. 
My wife and I felt incredibly awkward during this whole thing but we told her that it was alright and advised her to take care of herself before driving back home. I didn't know if it would help or not but I did contact my ex's mother and filled her in on everything that had happened and I guess that finally made them realize the gravity of the situation. She told me that she's moved in with her daughter and said that she'll keep us updated. And despite whatever has happened so far, my wife and I truly wish that she gets better.